Hey guys, what's cooking? I'm gonna tell you. So today we are gonna be doing a nice cold treat. It's the end of summer. The hot weather is just starting to go away and I wanted to sneak this in before we're in winter. So this is my version of a mixed berry, a yogurt and oat pop. Okay, so for fruit, you can use pretty much anything. I've made these before with like just single fruit, like just raspberries or just strawberries. This time I wanted to mix it up a bit. So bite size blend. This is technically a bag of blackberries, blueberries, peaches, and strawberries. You're going to want one and three fourth cups of your frozen fruit. One third cup of honey, two teaspoons of lemon juice, three fourth cup of quick oats, two cups of plain Greek yogurt, and then of course your popsicle trays. Uh, I had just bought these ones. These are new. I um, I wanted to try out these uh, silicon type um, pop molds. And just for those that are interested, they work great. Um, I really do like the silicone ones. They're so easy to clean. Definitely a good purchase. Okay, so this recipe is gonna make 12 popsicles. I chose to use no machines for this recipe, but if you do like to make things a little easier, food processor, that's the only machine you'll need. You can use the food processor, but we over here are mixing by hand. And you're going to puree your um, fruit. You're going to add one third cup of water, as well as your honey and your lemon juice. And then just set that to the side. You want to get your oats but set aside like a tablespoon of oats. We're going to use it at the end. Uh, so now you're mixing in your oats into that same bowl and your yogurt. Now, because Greek yogurt is a really thick yogurt, which is one of the reasons why I love it. I, I know Greek yogurt's kind of iffy for some people, but I love it because of the thickness. But because we're mixing it in with a bunch of other stuff here, I like to just kind of pour a bit, mix pour a bit and mix. It can be a little tough to mix it if you're going to pour it all in in one shot. And then you're just going to mix it all up and uh, then you're just pouring it in. So, you know, pour it in or you can use a spoon if that's easier. Uh, I just threw mine into a measuring cup. I thought it made the perfect pour in little dish. So you could do that method as well and uh, just pour it into your molds. Um, you, want, you want it to be not too, too full, like maybe, you know, like three fourths filled. Uh, you can mix it up with a spoon, do a little swirl if you want. And then at this point, you're gonna grab your remaining oats and you're just gonna sprinkle a bit of the oats on top of each individual uh, mixture. Now, since these are going in the freezer, I chose to wipe up the tray a bit to make it look not only a little neater, but so that that stuff doesn't freeze onto you know, other parts of the tray. So you might want to do that if, you know, you maybe drizzled some along the way, which is easy to do when you're pouring into multiple sections. And then just uh, pop on the popsicle sticks that you're going to be using to hold your popsicle. And here's a quick little glance at it with the camera over on the other side. It probably didn't catch much of seeing in the popsicle so this is what it looks like and then just pop them into the freezer you want to freeze these for at least six hours 
I chose to just let them sit there overnight and I didn't come back to them till the next day. Uh, these were super yummy. I have had a bunch. I, I recently discovered the roommate of, can't have yogurt anymore. So uh, I guess they're all for me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a very recent thing. He was eating yogurt like two weeks ago, right? You know, to say the least, there's still a bunch in the freezer. Uh, but they are delicious. They were super yummy. I'm actually really glad that I chose not to take out the food processor for this recipe because due to that, due to mixing it by hand, um, there it really did taste like a popsicle with fruit. You you know how it is. You you puree something and you know it's the fruit flavor, but it's not like taking a bite out of fruit. So as you were taking a bite out of the, the popsicle, you were actually getting like a strawberry or a blueberry. And, uh, and I really liked that. However, for those that maybe don't like to have the texture of an actual fruit in your popsicle, um, then definitely you'd want to um, blend it up or use your food processor. Uh, but... I personally really enjoyed it that way, being able to get the flavor of the mixture with some actual fruit inside of the popsicle. And uh, that's the video. So I hope you enjoyed. Good luck making these. Uh, super easy. Prep time is like maybe 10 minutes. It doesn't take too long. Um, really, it's the freezer that takes the longest. So this is definitely something you'd want to make a day in advance. Have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.